Well, hello, this is Maria. Yes, so today we have an interesting class. We're going to talk about different novels. The many different novels that have brought joy to our lives. For example, Eric Siegel, a beautiful writer, great novelist, he wrote Love Story. Love Story, which he published in 1970, or he wrote it in 1970, and it became a movie. It was an instant success, and it's absolutely one of my favorite, favorite, favorite movies. Beautiful plot, beautiful characters, and yes, we owe it to Eric Siegel, who thought about this, a Harvard graduate, a graduate from Harvard University, came up with this simple but very imaginative and beautiful love story, and he called it Love Story. I'm sure you've heard the music. Even the music is just unforgettable, right? The beautiful music. Francis Lay wrote that music. He was the composer, Francis Lay. Not Francis Bellamy who wrote the Pledge of Allegiance, nor Francis Scott Key who wrote the Star Spangled Banner. No, no. Francis Lay. He was a French composer. Yes, from Paris. Comment allez-vous aujourd'hui? Je Je m'appelle Marie et toi. Quelle heure est-il? Okay. Um, so, um, Francis Lay wrote the music, and Eric Siegel wrote the novel, okay. the story, and that story, that novel became a number one New York bestseller, number one New York bestseller. The movie was nominated for many Oscars, but it's just, it was just a hit. Now, what else? What other novels? We spoke about Jane Eyre, which also has a movie. Did we talk about Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen? Oh, my daughter loves that one. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, an author, a writer from England. Yes, Jane Austen. She wrote about this family who, oh, you have to see, it has a lot of sisters in it. I, don't, I forgot how many daughters this um, married couple had. And Elizabeth Bennet was the second oldest. And um, she was very close to her older sister. I think her name was Jane. And they were always together. And then she falls in love, Elizabeth Bennet, with Mr. Darcy. And Mr. N Darcy's kind of proud. But then he falls in love with her. And it was just a very nice story. That's by Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice. Has a book. Oh, yeah. And also a movie, a film. Oh, yeah. I think it has various versions, so you need to pick the one that you like. And then, um, what else is there to talk about? These are, oh, we talked about Moby Dick, right? By Herman Melville. These are classics that you can't forget. You must remember Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Um, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Love Story by Eric Siegel. That's more modern. Love Story is the most modern of all. More, more contemporary compared to the classic, classic literature like Jane Eyre, Moby Dick, and Pride and Prejudice, and so many others. All right, that's what we wanted to talk about, something very simple and short and brief, but hopefully you will remember the authors and the titles of those classic novels and read them or at least watch the film. But I suggest you do both. Read the book. Like the Book of Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. You must read that book. That's a must. It's a pretty uh, thick, long book, but you must read that book. That's a great book. And, of course, watch the movie by Clark Gables and Vivian Leigh. Gone with the Wind. That one came out, I believe, in 1939, I want to say. Close to the year of The Wizard of Oz. All right. That was it. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to read.